Hello everybody, Blitz here again. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about drilling zones from what I've seen. Now this is all personal perspective, your results may vary, uh, <laughs> all that other warning stuff. But I just kind of want to go over what I've seen as far as the zones uh, and what kind of reactions you get when you're bowling without a thumb and what might be more beneficial to your game versus someone else uh, that may be either more speed dominant or more rev dominant than you are when you're um, out there bowling. All right, so let me get some lines on the ball here. So uh, since this is one with dot technology, this is the top. Obviously you got your PSA down here. So we will draw a line from the top up here on down and we're going to draw another line going down the other way yes i can't draw and that is okay so <laughs> all right so relatively these are the going to be the lines that you're going to be focused on i mean don't don't be like Packy and drill one of these dot balls <laughs> upside down with the same layout. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, if you've ever seen Packy Hammer's hands uh, drilling a bowling ball upside down video. Anywho, uh, so zone one is going to be roughly from the top down probably about two inches. So roughly in this case, it's probably gonna be somewhere about here. And this I will call zone A. And uh, from there, it will go down to roughly about four inches. And then we got zone B and zone C. All right, so zone A is gonna be kind of your pin down layout, let me, because I'm right-handed, uh, pin down. So this will make the ball obviously roll a little slower. It's going to be slower off the spot, uh, and that's going to be good for certain situations and in certain lane conditions. And that's very ball dependent. Whether you are speed dominant and uh, rev dominant, that can also be a factor as well. But I'll get to that in just a minute. Zone B is kind of kind of be your mid lane. Yeah, this is going to be kind of hard to read because of the white. Mid lane read area. So this ball is going to get down, start to read at the mid lane, and start to make its motion. Uh, zone C is going to be your earliest. So, yes, I can't write. I write like a four-year-old, and I understand that. Uh, <clears throat> but these are the zones that you're going to see depending on where you drill the fingers for a no-thumb bowler. All right. So what I have found based on various testing that I've done with various balls, um, this is mainly going to be kind of towards your asymmetrics currently because this is an asymmetric ball. Uh, and I need a little more testing on the, I need a little more testing on the, uh, symmetrical balls. Uh, but, Zone C is going to be more, since it's the earliest, this is going to be more speed dominant friendly. <clears throat> All right. Your B is going to be speed dominant. Uh, it's going to be that mid lane thing that you come to expect. Uh, but it might, when you're more rev dominant, obviously you're going to get the ball down further because you're putting more rotations on it. So it might actually be a stronger angular motion. 
uh, for Dom. This is going to be a strong motion for your Rev Dom. While being a versatile. For speed Dom. So, and that's all going to go to here. And then the pin down kind of motion that you're looking for in A is going to be more a rev dominant motion. Um, what I found is that speed dominant, it can work. It's just very touchy. So... But that's mainly going to be for your rev dominant players. Uh, you can play with the surface uh, and make your speed dominant uh, people get it there. But it's going to be tricky. Uh, but that's kind of general idea of what I found out. Uh, the rev dominant people are going to benefit more from A when they're looking for control. Uh, the strong rev dominant motion is going to be in zone B. Uh, zone C is going to be your speed dominant players, uh, kind of like your Kyle troops out there. Uh, your versatile speed is going to be zone B or versatile ball reaction because of that mid lane motion. But if, here's just a little talking head video about the, zones I've seen and I hope this you find this helpful thank you